Greetings, Commandos, this is Pagan Horde, and we're looking at number 11 in our exploration of Terra from the Void. Now, if you would please do some YouTube stuff, let's see what's going on. When we left uh, last episode a bit of a cliffhanger, because uh, we, the episode was already run running long enough, and we're heading into an important mission here, being the bad guys, going full uh, Disciple of Vanu, uh, obe obeying their command to go kill people. Because why not? Let's uh, let's go do the tentacle bat. So this is the mission. Laser, B and we're facing uh, Synandrion Laser Barrett. Starting volley. This is mean th these guys will be able to fire twice their weapon or three times all the time. That's gonna suck. A lot. Uh, Synangion have the more accurate weapon. The laser weapons are the most accurate weapon in the game. They're just not that great against armor. And uh, facing them, be far being able to fire a lot, is scary. It's very scary. Hmm, but there's two of them right here. Already there. Reporting enemy contact. Three of them? Okay. Let's go be an asshole. Because that's what we're doing right now, anyway. And we... But that does mean that we need to kill them. Because we cannot take the return fire of these guys' accuracy. So we started with the big one, but we must follow through. Get these guys. Right, your sniper rifle got broken, and I uh, yeah. needed to fix that. I did not. Spoiler alert, I did not. Shit, now we have a sniper with only a pistol. That mechanic of breaking your weapon is just so nasty. Right, so... Okay, so you cannot reach them with that. But you can do your beautiful double tap. Hopefully that's gonna do the trick. Or a heavy. Or a heavy can also do that. This isn't ideal. We have at least some Overwatch. I hope, just hope they don't do too much damage. Their goddamn accurate laser rifle. Oh, hi there. Wow, I am fucked. <laughs> 600 days. 900 days. I don't know how much that number means, but you're gonna fire four times, you bastard. That will do. That's not the best. Got hit. Destroyed some of his equipment. He turned fire. There we go. They can fire twice. Right. <laughs> Two. Gonna fire again. Oh, there's another one. This is not nice. Of course you hit. Oh, there's another one. Wow, we need to get into cover somehow because now we're being surrounded. Wow. I focused on the la the two that I saw. Yeesh! That's way too much. Way too much. How the fuck did I do this? I don't know.
And at least they don't have a shit ton of armor, so we can do a lot of damage. Still. Oh, you need to heal yourself. First and foremost, we're gonna lose another soldier. Think. Think. If I... Let's do this. Go aggressive with our big boy. Say... No, I cannot. Putting these two into incendiary would have been great. But the game physics does not allow it. True. Is, uh, are you gonna bleed to death? You will. Killed another one. Ready, willing, and able. You with your pistol. You're gonna get a pistol kill? That would be very nice. Okay. Another guy down. But we're still being surrounded by all sides. So, because I cannot throw your grenade, I'm gonna change tactics. Moving to position. I'm gonna go here and overwatch these guys with your big gun. Taking my dead soldier stuff. Alright, can I send someone to finish the one in the back? That is the question. Because if I can finish the one in the back, then I don't have to worry about being big backstabbed by him. Like this. Then I can do this. Oh, really? Perfect headshot again. That worked. That worked too. This is rough. Oh, more stuff coming in. Okay, but at least we're in better cover for that one. Okay. Uh, oh! the, the, they're firing crossbow, which you can fire four times per round if you don't move. Uh, another headshot. Three time firing. Okay, so. Let's go pistol finish this guy. What do you know? Having a pistol guy actually helped. Right. Right, right, right. We made some progress, but these two guys with the crossbow on top... Problematic. I'm gonna do a fuck it. Say hi there. How are you doing? Enjoy. Ah! Enemy hit. Ah, oh, I really need, needed to make that shot. This. I'll stay behind. Let's go. That's good. That's good. Try to get the arm so he won't be able to use his weapon. I can disable the arm, it's gonna be a lot less of a problem. Ow. Not quite enough. Sophia, do you think you can make the shot on the arm? I'm gonna try. No, you can uh, not reach a single one. Ugh. Stuck. Taking offensive action. That's one. He moves for a second one. Fires a... 
Oh, 129 damage. No, don't hit him. Please don't. Okay. We lost two soldiers in that one. Two level six soldiers down. You, sir, are gonna regret your life decision. You, sir, are also gonna be filled with regrets soon. One left. Pistol man. Got the arm, so he can no longer fires. I'm gonna try dashing. Probably a lot of good stuff on the ground, right? From my own soldier. Not lose our weapon. Oh, but you can still do that, apparently. Alright, so that should be the end for this guy. Let's see if we cannot salvage a few good things. I'm out of room, though. Can you... salvage a bit of Synergion stuff? Get those crossbows. Angion's laser rifle. Crossbow. There we go. Ready to fire. Anything else I can salvage before I pull the plug? I'm going to fire. If I can salvage from you. I can. Fighter drones. All right, let's pull the plug. Yeah. I'll try to get there in one piece. Oh, well, that was our bloodiest battle so far. We lost two of our experienced soldiers. That was rough. We did get some good salvage. Some Synendrion technology. Ow, that hurt. Those leaders' ability, man, the ability to fire twice, it's just... wow. Disciples of Anu are now allied with the Phoenix Project and will cooperate on finding a solution to the Pandoran threat. Okay. I am sorry about what the Synod of Yearning made you do. Those were not my orders. I have no desire to destroy those who disagree with us, unless their actions undermine humanity's chances at survival. The Synod is... a necessary evil. But perhaps its usefulness is nearing an end. Hmm. So they don't have a perfect agreement in their religion in this Synod thing. Okay. You have demonstrated your loyalty time and again. I believe you suspect that there is more to my plan than meets the eye. And you are right. The time is almost upon us. I will explain everything soon. All right. We do get a lot of these stuff. So we don't get a lot of the reward, only plus three. But instead of losing ten, we're only losing five of the Synendrion. But this crew is just taking a beating and we lost two of our soldiers 
Uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to move back to our base and try to re-equip. We do have a few extra personnel here. One of them being level 4, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna replenish our ranks. But losing some of our best is definitely not the greatest thing. I mean, I could have reloaded that mission. I made a wee bit of mistakes there, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. So, uh... Right. Personnel. At Phoenix Point, we do have... It is an alien at level 4, a sniper. And these guys that we have rescued. We're not gonna restart at 0, but instead of a level 6, we have a 4 and a 2. That's the other bandit. For now, I'm not gonna equip you. You're gonna be our backup. What's important is to these guys. So Melissa is our first level 7, I think. Marked for death. Rapid clearance. Battle hardened. Look at that. Plus 2 to all stat, 10 to accuracy, and 4 to perception. Mark for death. Mark an enemy for death until the end of turn. Each hit on that attack whenever we get plus 10 damage. This effect will does will not stack, so you cannot to do two mark for death. Okay. Rapid clearance until the end of the turn. Killing an enemy refunds your action points. All of these are pretty neat, and because we've been stacking up our soldier points, can afford all of them. There we go. First level 7. Why don't we augment you? What does a disruptor head do? Clarity head. More accuracy and immune to mind control. That's the one mounted item, heavy weight, accuracy plus eight. There you go, you're getting a torso. You're getting a clarity head. But that's the safety limit. All right. So next, uh, let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Great or crap, we don't want it. We're maybe at the point that we have enough spare armor that we don't need to keep some of these Odin around. Okay, get the uh, bonuses, resources instead. You have a Banshee leg armor. Go Synendrion instead. Okay. We lost some soldiers, but we're getting some good stuff. Stream focus, please. Overwatch focus. Accuracy overwatch attack increased by 50%. Wow! Imagine this. Gain of psychic scream immunity. Cool. Imagine this plus the double tap of ac Woo! -hoo. And now, because we've unlocked more stuff. And I'll make you a priest. With mind control. 
It costs 1 to 10 willpower per turn to maintain. That's the thing. Okay, it costs willpower. Induce panic. Cause the target to panic if it's will point or less than the priest. Okay. Don't mind if I do. We're gonna burn some of our uh, Phoenix po soldier point so that we can get these soldiers ready. Can I mutate you with a priest, Ed? I can. Living allied unit in Tindalo and recover will point. Okay. Judgment head. Instill frenzy. Screaming head. I'm gonna go for the frenzy. There we go. Priest sniper, let's go. But we're not gonna mutate further because we want to keep accuracy. Unless we do the stumper leg. No. Just the head for you. But you can, you can still be efficient as a sniper. Alright, and you are, are just a regular sniper. You have some crappy bandit stuff that we're gonna scrap. So I don't have another good sniper to give you, sadly. I can give you a Synendrion kit. I'm gonna replace those rags. So I'm gonna have to build a sniper weapon. Especially since we lost one. Yeah, we still have this guy who lost his sniper. Damn it. So... You do have a regular firebird. Better than nothing. We have the Chaos Sniper. That thing has, uh, cannot manufacture its ammo. Would have loved, would have really loved the laser, Synendrion Laser Sniper Rifle right now. Would have been a thing. Can only equip you with basic crap. All right, well, we're, we're going to have to stick around here until I can get that. Okay. So a bit of weight. You need to heal anyway, so that's fine. But I don't think I can help here with you. We're instead going to move there. Intercept. Void chamber. Engage. Right. That on pause. Greater guidance. Damage 200. That's the spike. Okay. I'm gonna put everything on this weapon. That's longer range than me, hey? You're gonna start firing already. I'm not gonna dodge the basic spikes. I'm gonna see what the other... Yep, that, 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 dodging. We haven't hit a single thing yet. Could not dodge that one. Please be a hit. So I lost one of my weapon. Do I try to break their other weapon? Let's go.
I've destroyed both of its weapon. All right, so I made a little cut there because the flying mechanics. Uh, once you get through the few t first few things, it can be a bit of a grind. So, moving on. As soon as we got out of that combat, a new Delirium area base was revealed. And that one, that one, guys, uh, I think is going to be the shit. If I remember correctly, these Infected Heavens missions... Threat Extreme. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's the real deal. With enemy reinforcement. These corruption nods things are... If memory serves, you cannot really approach them uh, close because they're just going to an annihilate you. All right. So this this is where we're getting into the weeds. This is where Phoenix Point starts uh, stops pulling its punches. So let's see if we can make it happen. Right, sure. Is this crew strong enough to handle this? I don't know. An honest answer. And you, sir, I need to replace your weapon. Okay, I did so. I have a basic one. Basic sniper. Well, that's what I have. You, sir. I'm gonna equip you the missile again. Oh, I have to choose. We're gonna go with the missile. And we're gonna change your weapon for the Goliath grenade launcher. That one. Because what I will want to do is a lot of explodey. To gain access to, to that uh, that monster. Red damage is reduced by half. That's pretty cool. Well, since we're going explodey, go boom blast. Could give you sniper rifle proficiency. Quite sure. Hmm, that will make you encumbered. Sure. You have points. Let's increase your strength. Let's go. All right. So uh, we're gonna have. The light sniper rifle, we're gonna have grenade launcher instead. And I know that I haven't researched this missile, so I don't have I don't have uh ammo for it. But I think if this is the mission as I remember, we're gonna need it. We might also equip our best soldier here. With the uh, the rare rifle, that thing, the chaos sniper. I think uh, the, if we're gonna if we're gonna do that mission, it's gonna be now. Bring on your best weapon. That's the rare market. It does poison damage on top. It's really strong, but you cannot manufacture this ammo if I'm not mistaken. So after those fifteen rounds done yeah that mission that mission this is where the uh shit hit the fans so let's uh, go take a look see if we can make it happen see you guys in a moment so there we go this revenant resistance that's new to me this is terror from the void i do remember these corrupted havens from the vanilla but we'll see how both of these interact so we have 50% resistance to shred damage. Hmm. Okay. Search and rescue. I... Okay. Search and rescue. There's potential survivors, you're telling me? Oh, and the big boys are here. Yep, yep, yep. The big boys are here. The game has finally stopped pulling its punches. That's what's happening. Okay, so the map isn't too big. 
One of the difficulty I remember from those mission is that sometimes the map was enormous. So we uh, can surmise that the enemy is in here. Inside the building. And my memory serves if my memory serves me well, trying to get inside the building is suicidal. You have to attack it from the rooftop, from a sniper position. Uh, maybe break some walls to get access to it. Something like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if we can make it happen. Well then, we do have this uh, uber-powerful sniper rifle. Let's test it out. Ooh. I like it. I like it very much. Now let's try and break some of its leg if we can. There we go. Two disabled leg. Life is good. Acherons. Alright, so that sniper rifle is a bit less uh, accurate, so I'm just gonna go center mass. And I get another leg. That is awesome. Area all right, so we do have people here that we can try and save, and they will be uh, they will be helping a little bit. This one has a mind fragger on top of his head. Uh, he's a melee guy, though, so he's not a huge deal at the moment. I'm gonna let him here. Let's use this beautiful new light sniper rifle. Hit it twice. Don't mind if I do. You, sir, will come closer. Tango spotted. What did you spot? Okay, another prisoner. Okay, yeah, there's essentially two of them. Eyes peeled. Alright, so the other one is... An assault. Okay. So what those those big guys do? Those big guys are essentially a support unit. They can raise, uh, they can bring uh, enemies, they can bring reinforcements, they can buff, they can heal. You're essentially a big tank that can heal your, uh, heal the enemy. It takes all of your squad, typically, to be able to get it. I think I've done enough damage for the bleeding and the poison. So taking out the big guy is a good step. Now we have a new assault on their way, and the Berserker. If I can save them, that's great. Another one, okay. The thing is, uh, I don't want to get hit by their uh, big shotgun. So if I have a choice between getting hit by a shotgun and saving him, this will be easy. So, we got a new head. Let's instill Frenzy. Ah, that should make things a bit, bit easier. What I'm gonna do, if I can, is to go here and bash. Oh, I spotted something else. What did I just spot? Oh, I missed, uh, okay. Missed farter. If I can bash this. Boink. I'm gonna free this soldier. And use kill and run. Move again. Bash again. Pink. Now oh, I've just liberated those two soldiers. That's awesome. This combination of skill is working out. Okay. So. So, so, so. I don't think I'll be able to use my sniper rifle with you at the moment. Uh, what are you, by the way? You're another assault. I can try and shoot the thing off his head with the pistol, I think, if we get a lucky shot. We don't. We do! Wow! Okay, that's a great start. 
That is such a great start. Still frenzy, man. That thing is just great. Now, I don't have a shot with... Right now... You, my big guy... I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna do this eventually. Now let's just do a full movement. You, sir, can attempt to get that thing. Sure. We get lucky. No. Right, so this thing is going to keep on farting mist, which can be a big annoyance. Oh, the mind fragger is just going to take him back. Of course. Yeah, and now there's snipers or something hiding in the mist. Oh, it's another captured citizen. Really? Oh, Mirmidon dropping in. That could be a problem. This guy can just drop in and do damage, and it's almost impossible to stop them. Uh, sure, let's get rid of the mist farting. Put that up. You, sir, and or ma'am, what would be the best option? If we want to rescue more people... I think using your pistol again would be the thing. Get close enough to get a perfect shot and... Miss completely. Boss. Right. Right, 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 right. Right, right, right. So, no more farts. But then... You have... Or I can just uh, keep on bashing. Moving in quick. I mean, if it works. Point. Doing some damage to my assault rifle when that uh, when that happens, though. It is not completely free. Hmm. Good. Try and get here and shoot that thing. Got it. Got it with the shotgun. I did not expect that to work. Like, not at all. Alright, we do have a problem of this guy on top. Just not enough. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can I... I can hit him. Point. Hey, does he fall down? No, he's still up there. But now I have a shot because of the broken floor. Not a good one. You are gone, buddy. Did it work? Did I get him? I think I did. Okay, 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 okay. So we're doing not too shabby. But here's the thing, uh, that big thing in the middle there, if, if it is the same as I remember it, it's not very nice. It is not very nice. And approaching it directly is not a good idea. Alright, we now have control over these guys. I'm going very up. nice. Not a problem. I could probably use... Oh, hello. could probably use one of these to go test out my theory. Ooh, and there's a lot on top. And a lot more here. Gotcha, gotcha. And somebody hiding in the fart. Affecting this guy, okay. 
Uh, you, sir, got a direct line on the newcomer. Please do. Try and neutralize this guy. Okay, I'm going to tempt fate and go see if I can get this guy here. See what we got. Okay, those are worms. I can kill a worm, right? I can. I don't dare go farther in, though. So that's gonna be that. I could finish this fellow, maybe. I'm gonna need a better angle. I'm gonna go out in the, into the open to get this guy. Let's go center mass. All right. So, how do we kill that thing? Best way would be to go up. How can I go up? There is over here. Oh, that's tough. Maybe we can get a visual on top of this. A visual into the inside. That is an option. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tempt it. So I'm gonna use this guy that I now control. The berserker. I'm gonna do go be a berserker. I cannot reach him. I can do a stomp attack. Or I could just use the powerful pistol these guys have straight to the face to do a thing. Vilma Clark. Okay. Enemy engaged. Why does this thing have a name? Well, Miss Vilma Clark. Have that. <coughs> Pardon me. Uber powerful sniper. You two can go uh, give a hand. Now this shotgun is not very precise. I'm gonna have to go into the mist. We'll uh, potentially lose some willpower. That could do it. Or not. Or not. Finger on the trigger. Alright, now that will do it. The po let the poison do the rest. Let's make this happen. So, we are on a timetable. We have to keep in mind that uh, there's unlimited reinforcements in those missions. And that uh, there's gonna be worms and all kind of crap up there. Not of that okay. is ideal. I don't want to stumble into a poison or fire worm or a myrmidon and get my ass kicked. You're going down there. Mindfragger reinforcements. Okay, we're gonna need to have a crew that's going to intercept the reinforcements, more or less. Have a crew that's gonna go in. Hmm. I'm just uh, taking a look at everyone right now and uh, trying to make a decision. What I do want is to go on top here and see if I can see something inside. Watch this. I'm going to try to skip the miss entirely with you by jumping. If you spend your time in the mist, you're gonna lose willpower. That's the thing. All right, you sir. I'll be right there. Uh, might be just recruited into pest control. Is that a hit? I believe it is. There's a potential to go get a glimpse if it's that thing down there. 
the thing is, those things are so dangerous. Let's go, go get a glimpse. Fuck it. Oh, here it is. There it is. Threat damage, accuracy, and nod. Willpower, will point 33, movement 1, perception 22. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, that's the thing, that's the thing. You don't want to be near it. It doesn't move, that's just disadvantage. But if you are anywhere near its line of sight, it will destroy you on its turn. At least that's how I remember it. It could be my uh, data is now obsolete with Terror from the Void, but that's how I remember them. You sir. The, these two sniper here, I'm probably just gonna use them to clean up the enforcement. They're gonna stay back. And send another person. Hopefully to get an angle. Hopefully. Now I don't dare get closer. I don't know if I would be out of its line of sight by going here. Don't want to take the risk to get hit by that thing. But if you can quickly peek out, shoot and get out of its line of sight, I think it is possible. But I don't know. Not sure. We're going to use maybe uh, one of these guys, the, the melee dude here to make the test. One of that is not mined. I'm going to put him here. See if he gets a hits. Same thing with you. Ah, it is a fireworm. And it's exploding. Okay, you're gonna get shot. Is that enough to stop it? Another Mermidon dropping down. Okay, that one gets a hidden. Oh, mine Frager. There you go. Of course. They all waited to attack at once. Yeah, that's the thing. Saw that thing explode, that was the thing. Okay, well... We did not get hit by it. If I go up here... Can I get it? Where is it? Can I get it through the window or something? That's the mine fragger. I don't think I can. I was hoping to be able to. But there's always the potential to... Let's open things up. That's why I brought the missile, by the way. Potentially open the, the, the walls and try to get that thing from outside. We're very successful at the moment, but... Let's go for another bash. Fort at the moment. Bulldog is half destroyed. Let's use our... Move and kill. Oh, that one hit. But the bleeding might just be enough. Bleeding just might be enough. Gotcha. Oh, might as well. Okay. Still gonna try it. You guys just stick around outside. Watch out the reinforcements. Sophia. You're fine right there. 
Another berserker. Around around here. I think. Sophia, you stay put. I hope this plan works. All right, you are gonna try and go take a shot. See if that works. Because uh, I think I can afford to poke. Poke. Then come back into cover without getting hit by its AoE. I think, I hope. Let's see if it works. Nice. <laughs> that worked. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we can afford to get it done that way. Okay. Go here. Now, we, they have shredding resistance, so it might take a while to get through the armor. We come back. And perhaps play that game. Very well. You, sir. I keep attempting to get shit done. Go to that window. I zoom in all the way in. I have you. Haha, <laughs> it works. Okay. That's the way I was able to defeat them last time I played this game. Through the through the window. Find it again though. Aha. Hello. It works. All right, you guys, well, you're doing a great, a great job. You get up there for next turn. Let's try and get a shotgun blast in. Yeah, that thing, uh, the, the shredding resistance is uh, hurting us a bit. Because it's a bit hard to... It's a bit hard to get the hit in. You, sir. Can I hit it with the gun? I can. Sometimes you... Don't trust completely what the UI is telling you. If you finical a bit with the re-aim, you can sometimes find an so. angle that uh, you haven't seen before. Let's go. Oh, the armor shredding is giving me a bit of trouble, but we're gonna we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh, no. I want you to move. Well, I made a mistake right here with this soldier, so we're going to see what this guy does, I guess. <laughs> that. Oh, ho, ho, look at that damage. <laughs> Bleeding. Virus. Yep. I made that mistake with a soldier that is not really mine, so I don't care, but still. You get the picture. If you don't know about this guy and you just stumble in thinking you got an easy kill, well, that will happen. That will happen. You really love that light sniper rifle. Try to put more poison on him. Nice. Hmm. 
bit imprecise, but if we are patient, I believe we can get this done. Not making a mistake like I did before, but at least it gives it gives you guys an idea of uh, what that thing can do if you're not careful. We're gonna be patient. What was that? And we're gonna take it uh, one shot at a time. Oh shit. Have enough, just enough movement so. to get out. Be right there. You, sir, are gonna go around here. Be ready to take a shot next turn. You, sir, take one. He's panicking, thanks to the virus. That's all right. That's all right. Believe we got it. Or not. I think that's a hit. Okay. There were a few survivors here and there. A couple of soldiers were lucky to get mind fragged during the initial attack. But also civilians who were not fully taken by the creature. They, they came out of it as if waking up from a nightmare. It was then that I understood what Alistair meant when he joked that we were waging a war for our place in the new food chain. The Pandoran didn't want to exterminate us. That would have been too merciful. They wanted us for something else. Yep, 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 yep. So I got it done. Our first uh, infected, our first infected haven. But I have to say that the right now the balance is different than I remember the original game. The original game there would have been a lot more enemies, and uh, not of them would have been mind fragged people that I could recapture. So Terror from the Void is rebalancing things, and I I like it better the way it is now. It's really the well done. And um, there you go. That's uh, I knew what a bit what I was doing because I tried in the vanilla and got myself destroyed by that monster. But there you go. That's how you get, get these things done. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, not destroyed. We saved 2100 people. And we got all of these goodies, including 800 mutagen. That's a lot. Sacrifice to the Void. A former clinic it is full of horrors. Mutated body littered the floor, the wall covered in incomprehensible scrawled in thick dark blood. Okay. Looks like an altar in a temple, but it is referring to what? It's alive. It's thought to be a remarkable armored suit, a mutated living organism bioengineered using some unknown technology. Living armor. Why would they make armor for humans? Sam knew armor. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a look at that. We're gonna take a look at that. Now, you, ma'am, got to level 7, the maximum level. Battle hardened. Absolutely. Rage burst. Woohoo! Fire five shot. Then rapid clearance. Until the end of the turn. After killing an enemy. Next attack costs minus two HP. So if you can combine that with frenzy. That's where you start getting some crazy soldiers. Okay. The user is marked for death. Battle Harden. Rapid Gleeran. 
Miss Musha, you were already seven. The citizen is now five. All organic enemy within $15 are automatically revealed. Mind sense, that's cool. Jetpack proficiency. Ah, and you are a level three. Use some of our field points to increase this guy. All right, but what is that armor? Biotech helmet. 35 armor. That's a lot. 35 armor, 35 armor, and how much for the chest? 40. With both stealth and accuracy. That is like everything. Not as much armor as something like a pure, but no stealth, no stealth or no uh, no accuracy penalties. You could stealth in that thing. Wow. All right, all right, all right, all right. But I can only give that to somebody who doesn't have uh, improvement. So I'm gonna. Put a lid on it for now. We're gonna see who we're gonna give it to. Oh, you cannot because you have your yep, yep, yep. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, that'll be it for this one, guys. We got a mission where we got our ass kicked and lost two soldiers. That was a brutal one. The leader ability to fire twice. Completely overwhelmed us. But we were able to strike back and get the... Honestly, this went way better than I expected. Because these missions are brutal. But we got it done fairly well. Granted, the Terror from the Void rebalances things a wee bit. So that first haven was not as bad as I remember. That uh, corrupted haven. The ability to get a, a, quite a few soldiers back by destroying the mag uh, mine fragger. Uh, it worked out. It worked out. So uh, I really love the new balance of Terror from the Void. All right, so that'll be it for this one. Please do some YouTube stuff. Any button will do. And I will see you next time. Thank you.